Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry, if you don't already know that. And um, it's kind of my goal here on this channel to share my creativity in whatever way that might be. Decorating something, making something new, showing you what I've already done in the past, like whatever. I don't know. There's all kinds of... Sometimes I just do vlogs. Sometimes I do stuff with my best friend. And to start the new year, I thought I would show you the project that I've been working on because it just sounded suitable for January and I thought you guys might be interested in seeing it. So I bought myself a planner. Um, I don't know why, but I was just itching to get a planner this year. And I've been searching for the right kind of planner because I don't want to use a planner for what a planner might be used for. Um, that's kind of the whole reason it was hard to even just find what I wanted. Um, but then I eventually just was like, I'm gonna search online, I'm gonna look on Amazon and see what I can find again. And I did come across a planner that I'm fairly happy with. And so, and that's this one. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it because I'm gonna show you what I've done so far in it. Um, but I just really wanted to use a planner as a um, sketching or hand lettering tool for myself. Um, and so today I thought I would show you what I've been doing so far this month. Um, and then I thought I would show you throughout the week, this week, um, how I do that and then um, kind of share with you my future plans for the, um, the year. So what I'm gonna do is um, just show you the planner itself. And I'll just explain what's going on inside here so you guys can see it. And then um, throughout the week this week, you'll see me do some hand lettering. So let's jump right into it. Okay, here. so here's the planner. It's from TF Publishing and I just ordered it off of Amazon. Very simple, they have several of these with different covers and then it just has the 20 i'm not a huge fan of the way they did this but it doesn't really it's not really a big concern i just wanted something simple and this is very similar to the aesthetic of my handwriting hand lettering i should say just in that it's black and white and i i don't do a lot of color work because i don't know how so the planner itself um it's pretty nice it has you know your like easy reference of 2020 2021 a little thing of notes if you want to reference it and then it starts out with the months um so it has like january through december Ooh, so it has january through december um the months on display and so i have actually gone in there and filled out just different things that like happening in the months um, and this is where in here it really is actually a planner and where I've written down things that I'm going to be doing. But um, I probably, I don't know if I'll reference this all that much, but I did write some stuff down. And sometimes when I write something down, I remember it even if I never look at it again. So that's kind of, I do like planners and calendars for that. Um, but I usually keep it pretty simple. So I have filled in a few like months here. You can see I filled in as much as I could think of to fill in um, where there were holidays and stuff. And then um, this, this does have like the tasks, inspiration, goals, and notes. And so in January, I did write a few things down. Um, I have a huge goal this year to try and pay all my bills and to pay my taxes off. I really don't know how um, successful I will be, but I'm gonna do my best. And then I've started writing down some work that I have right now, but um, there's not much there. Um, and I don't know how much I will use these. So, but I did write down my goals just because I thought about it. So, um, so let's get into what I'm really gonna be using this planner for. And that starts with the daily planner now as you can see here this is blank because i received this planner well i ordered this planner and received it um a week late so i didn't start with the first week of january but i thought i would show you this page so i could show you what so i could explain to you kind of what i like about this planner and what i don't the thing i don't like about this planner the most is that it has lines on it um i understand why it has lines on it most people would want lines and I will say that sometimes the lines are helpful to me, 
but I really was wanting, I really want there to be, and I have not yet found a planner that has blank days on it. No lines at all, just the date, the day, and a blank piece, blank area. Whether that's a quarter of a page or half a page, whatever, I have never found that. They always have lines on them, and I didn't really, I was searching and searching for that and I just didn't find it. So this was the closest I could get to what I wanted. So it does have lines, but it does have blank space and that there's no prompts to what I should be writing in or anything like that. It's just the day and the date. Um, and so I decided to get this. Also, I really love that this is craft paper and not white paper. So. That was appealing to me and I really also love the um, very modern uh, look of the fonts and the layout of everything. So so what I really wanted this planner for, like I said before, is for hand lettering. Um, I do a lot of hand lettering, you'll see some here on my channel and I actually have um, an Instagram account that shows um, some of my hand lettering that I've done. Um, I'll show that to you right here so you can go there if you'd like to. Um, but I really wanted something that would prompt me to letter something every day of the week. This year, my church is doing, this January, February, my church is doing a series called the 2020 Planner. And I thought to myself, what if I started the year following that sermon series and using it to prompt my hand lettering, daily hand lettering? Um, so whatever the, the, whatever he's preaching about on Sunday will then, um, guide me to what to write, to what to do for hand lettering for the, during the week. Um, so let's move on to when we started, which is on the 6th. So this is the first week. Um, and as you can see, the theme for the sermon was prayers. Uh, it's actually was prayer and fasting. And then I decided to look up different verses in scripture that were prayers um, to God. And the other thing I wanted to point out was that you can obviously see that I haven't filled in every day. So I've decided that I want to do five days a week, not seven days a week. So I'll do Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday will be left to, I can fill it in, I can put something in there if I want to, write something down, or I could just leave it blank. Um, and it gives me just a little bit of a break. Um, but also because really the week for me starts on Sunday with a sermon. And so um, I want to allow that sort of prompt to sink in from the sermon and then do the next week. So this is the first week. Um, I've done different prayers um, from different parts of the Bible. And I usually use like the message because I really just like the simplicity of the words, like the way it's worded and it helps with hand lettering, I think a lot. Um, but I tend to read more than one translation so I can decide how I want to write it. Um, I won't go through like what each one is exactly, but these are just, these are the first five. They have to do with prayer and um, they're just different ones that I really enjoyed. Jonah, Psalms, Chronicles. Um, I just liked uh, these ones in particular, so I chose them. And then this week in particular, I wrote down um, what I had done. And I was going to do that, and I didn't really continue to do that, but I might continue that in the future. And then I actually did use this priorities list here. Um, for work that I have. So as you can see, I wrote down all the things I wanted to do that week and I checked them all, checked them all off, which was great. Um, and I try to do that and still write that there, but I actually do have another pad of paper on my desk that I use to um, remember what I need to do for the week. So it's, I don't necessarily always reference this, but it's nice to go to it and say, oh look, I accomplished all those things. That's kind of nice. So this was week one, um, and then we moved on to week two. January week two was on compassion. I decided during for this week um, what were verses that could prompt me to compassion towards specific things. So the week, the first day of this week was compassion towards my family 
Tuesday was compassion towards my friends, uh, Wednesday towards strangers, Thursday to myself, then lastly to like the earth, to creation. Um, and so I have found different verses that I thought really resonated those and like reminded me that hopefully I can then also reference like when I'm thinking about that, like compassion towards my family, what's that verse that I can be reminded of? Um, and same with like, you know, the being good to the earth and being good to myself. And this one here, you can see I didn't really do a hand lettering because I loved this verse, but it was super long and I really wanted to write it down. Sometimes when I just write things wrote, like, I read it and I decide to hand, write it down by hand. It just helps me to like really soak in what it's saying. Um, but I just really loved what this said. So this is from Galatians 5.22. And this was compassion towards myself. And I just love the words that it used. Um, we develop a willingness to stick with things and people. We find ourselves involved in loyal commitments sense of compassion in the heart holiness permeates things and people i just i loved the words that used and so i wanted to write the whole thing down rather than do like a hand lettering of it so i'm gonna take my pen here as i wrote down some work that i wanted to get done and i never checked them off so i actually finished these um not that one i didn't finish that one but i definitely did those three as you can see here i didn't really do anything for Saturday, Sunday, but I kind of really wanted that, like, if I feel prompted to write something here, that's great. If I don't, like, that's fine. I don't put any pressure on myself for those days off because I think that it's good to just give my brain a breather, but also my hand a breather. Um, I, my hand tends to cramp up after I've, like, been filling these all in. I do use, by the way, um, this jelly roll. I've been using these jelly roll pens. Um, they take forever <laughs> to actually fill in, but I find that I like the way they look better and it actually is kind of a lesson in practice and patience. Um, I've really enjoyed using it because I think it really just helps me to like take my time. So moving on to technically week four four of January and this was about patience believe it or not <laughs> um, and I decided to take this verse of Philippians 4 and and separate it out so this is actually all Philippians 4 and I wanted to separate out the parts of the verse um, just as like to soak in the verse to remember what it is saying to me so and, the, and it really is like paraphrasing so um, if you're reading these, you can see that it's a paraphrase of the verse. It's not the whole verse as a whole. Um, I probably should, well, the week is starting over, but it would be nice actually to just write the verse as a whole down here so that I can reference it later if I come back to it. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to separate out the verse and like it just helps it soak in uh, when you're writing and you're spending so much time in, on the letters, like it really causes you to focus on what it's saying so um yeah I really enjoyed doing that and then you can see here my priorities for the week I wrote them down and I still have one more video to do so that'll be it I'll get moved over again to the next week um and then so now we are on to this week so as you can see it's blank um we haven't started anything and the theme this week actually I'll write it in for you guys so you can see it here the theme for this week was to love your enemies. Hopefully I spell it right while I'm doing it for you. Love your enemies. That was the theme this week for the sermon. Um, and so what I would like to do this week for you guys um, throughout these five days is I'm going to do a hand lettering for each box and I'm going to time lapse those so you guys can see how I do them. Um, I don't know, I haven't even really sat down to think about what I want to do as far as love your enemies or I want to pick one verse so I want to find several verses. Maybe they're not even, for, like I, I do want to be open to, like it doesn't necessarily need to be 
scripture that I'm putting here. Um, I could even like look for a quote from somebody and really like focus on that too. So I'll have a sit and think about what I'm going to do. Um, and then I want to show you um, each day this week what I choose to do. Um, and then we'll kind of talk about what I'm going to do from here on out, which won't be much of a surprise, but uh, we'll talk about it just a little bit so you guys can see that. So I hope you guys enjoy the time lapses and I will see you in just a little bit um, to talk about what the future of this planner might be.
okay so we're back i hope you guys enjoyed seeing those different hand lettering um time lapses um and if you guys ever have questions about like doing hand lettering or how i do it or feel free to ask um, i don't know if any of my answers will be very profound um, hand lettering is just something that i do for myself um, it's not my business it's not something that i really sell for anybody um, i grew up around my dad is a sign painter so i grew up around it but it wasn't something i studied at all i didn't study in school or anything i just taught myself how to do it um, over time and I'm still teaching myself because there's a lot of things I don't know how to do. Um, but I just find it something that is is like a creative outlet for me. It's a way for me to um, do something when I just need to relax and kind of take my mind out of something. Um, or as something for me to just do while I'm like watching TV or something for my mind to sort of focus on. Um, and then also it's all really... One of the biggest things that it's done for me is provide a way for me to um, delve more into scripture because I don't, I'm not the greatest at reading and studying. It's a way for me to really like get into scripture, study scripture, and like learn um, really what God's trying to tell me um, because it's a creative way to do it. Um, it's not just me reading and trying to soak it in and not fall asleep and not get distracted. Like I'm able to like focus myself and it's a creative way for me to really get into scripture um and pay attention to what it is that i'm like reading and learning and um all that stuff so i really love it for that and so i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing it um i really kind of just wanted to talk briefly about what my plans are for it it's not really just going to be a surprise because i have kind of already said but um basically for the whole year i really just want to keep on doing this so daily being in here doing a hand lettering every day to the theme of the week and um so our at our church like this actual sermon series is only going to go to the end of february um so definitely i'm gonna follow the sermon series to the end of february but my plan there's always a there's always a sermon every week and there's always um like a theme that i can pick up on from church at least if i would like to um, so if I'm stuck to it, like what I, if I'm not sure exactly what I want to focus on, I can really just like fall back into that. Like, well, he talked about this this week, so let's, you know, do that. So that probably is my plan for the most part, um, unless I come up with any other random ideas. Like, you know, this week I'm really struggling with this, so I'm going to look into this kind of thing. Or um, this month I think I really want to learn more about this, so I'll like, you know, something like that. I want to leave it open because I don't want to like have to tell myself like you have to do this it this way but um at the same time the fact that there's a sermon every week and there is always like a theme that he talks about every week like I can at least there's something there for me to fall back on so I'm really looking forward to it I hope that I stick to it I think so far like it's been really not easy but it's been really something that I don't have as much of a hard time like following and doing because um because I have this daily prompt because I know where the theme is like what I want the theme you know I think about it on Sunday because I'm hearing about it I really hope that I stick to this I have tried to prompt myself to do like daily things in the past I there was one year that I did a whole year of a word a day and I really enjoyed that but it was actually really hard to come up with a word every single day and do it and this is this is a little bit different this is there's there's always scripture to be read and I do like that there's this like weekly page here because then I'm like, okay, just this week. This is what I have to do just this week. And then when we get to next week, we'll get to next week. So um, I've really enjoyed it so far and I hope that I can continue to do it all the way through the end of the year. Um, and if you guys are interested, like when we get to the end of the year, um, if you are interested in knowing like how, where I got like how much I filled in if you want to see it again like let me know but I probably will post the lettering that I've done for my week um on my Instagram my lettering Instagram I'll put it up here for you um so if you're interested in seeing it throughout the year like you can go there you can follow me if you'd like to um I put other lettering stuff up there as well um and it's just an opportunity for me to post my lettering without it like filling up my personal Instagram feed so that's why I have that 
if you'd like to follow it, please feel free. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I hope it inspires you to do more drawing, lettering, something creative, whatever it is. Um, and especially daily. Like, I know that may seem monotonous, but, and like I said, like, I don't do every day. I don't do Saturday, Sunday necessarily. So trying to have something that's kind of daily, um, I think it's really great because um, it really, like, challenges you to try to do new things with that so like with hand lettering especially I every day I'm like Ugh, I've been doing the same lettering for the last three days I want to find something new so then I go see seeking it out I go looking online like what are other ways to write things or like what have other people done or what are some cool fonts that I can try or whatever and so I seek it out more and then and then I'm learning how to do that and then I'm trying it over and over and then I can do that better and it's just like it's making me better at what I love to do and that that's pretty cool so um and maybe it can be that for you I hope that you um just try something that is like if it's not a daily routine maybe it's a weekly routine or a monthly routine um and definitely try something creative you know I know I have a lot of people in my life that say I'm just not creative I'm not a creative person I don't do creative things that's just not me I challenge that in you because I believe that's not true I believe everybody has one creative bone in their body somewhere to do something and I just challenge you to think of what it might be like creativity is um, so many different things it's not just being able to draw being able to sing or being able to decorate or be it's there's so many different types of creativity um, I have a friend who is, likes to do wood carving so he makes pens and you know, my sister is so great at decorating her house, so she decorates her house regularly, um, but she also, like, paints furniture, or, like, makes earrings. Like, there's so many things you can do with creativity if you just seek it out and seek out what, what it is that you could do, even if it's something simple like coloring books or, um, you know, messing around with watercolor paints or whatever. There's so many different things that you can do to spark creativity for yourself so I just want to encourage that in you and try to make it something that you do regularly so that it continues to spark more creativity for you but also it like makes you better at that thing so all that to be all that to say I hope you guys enjoyed it coming along with me and looking at my new planner and um I hope to see you guys soon. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next month yet, but I will keep you posted. There is a video coming out very soon um, that is a bestie list video, so I'm very excited about it. I just, we have to finish it up a little um, before I can edit it and post it. So that will come very soon. And um, maybe if you guys have any like suggestions, what you want to see here on this channel, do you want to see more hand lettering stuff from me? Do you want to see more of other creative things that I do? Uh, let me know. <laughs> and I, we will see what we can do. So um, I hope you guys have all had a wonderful new year so far. And please come back. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. Um, what are you doing this year for your planner? Do you have a planner? Do you use one? Do you draw what anything? Say, just leave a comment, any comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And we will see you again very soon. Bye, everybody.